am back with another one. If you don't know, my name is Remy Naiji, and I am your personal stylist and fashion expert. I transform women to be the better version of themselves through the power of style. The ultimate businesswoman turns to me when she wants to transform her wardrobe and level up on her competition, and ultimately, outdressing them as well. And it's Fashion Tip Friday. Turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up, fashion tip Friday. It's really not a tip. It's just going to be a haul of the items that I got from LA. So it's going to piggyback on the last video when I was doing a bunch of shopping. You actually get to see what I got. Um, I actually had to buy a whole nother bag for my luggage back to New York. So I'm just going to run through the pieces that I got. Um, yeah, pretty much everything was on sale. End of the season. Um, is the best time to get your clothing. Um, so you'll catch a lot of good deals. This should just be a, like a Zara haul. So I don't know whether I should do the Zara first. Well, it's, it's majority Zara and then I have Topshop and Nordstrom. So let's just start with Zara. The first piece I got was this little um, blouse. Little v-neck polka dot. Mustard yellow is like my obsession this season as well with all my other obsessions. Um, so this is super cute. I want to match this up with some wide leg um, slacks with like a pointed toe. Super polished. Can be thrown on a blazer. Appropriate for work or even some jeans. Business casual black jeans. That would be cute too. Um, oh, I got a large in it. I am a little top heavy, so it's a, it doesn't so it looks like oversized, like not clingy, and it was only twelve ninety nine. Jumping into this other piece, I got this long sleeve dress. Um, if you have been on my Instagram, I did shoot this. Um, it was originally thirty five. I got it for twenty two. Super cute. I did um a big felt hat with it and some black booties and I threw a black leather jacket on top. It was super cute. The third piece that I got from Zara was another dress, like a t-shirt dress, but it's a jersey material. And it says, don't make a drama of your dramas. When I tell you, like, mood all 2018. Like, don't take anything personal. Don't make a drama of it. It happens. Take what you can take from it and move on. But super cute. Um, I shot some content today so you will see how I paired these up. If you aren't following me on my Instagram, my Instagram is styled by Rem. So, yeah, follow me. You can get you YouTube will like show you where I got it, and then Instagram would be like the inspiration so you can like, see it matched up. So you gotta follow me on both. Duh. The fourth thing that I got was this jumpsuit, which I am totally obsessed with. Like, when I tried it on, I was like, because I don't even do jumpsuits, because I feel like I'm not proportionate, like, with a snatch waistline. But this, like, with my minimizer bra, we'll get into undergarments, but, like, when you know how to style yourself under your clothing, it just makes your clothing look so much better but anyway I got this black jumpsuit with the white piping stripe down the side totally obsessed with it and it has a belt you can just like do a little bow super cute um, it has a V line but it's not plungy like it comes up so high that you can show a little bit and not too much because we like to keep it classy. So, this is super cute. And next piece that I got from Zara. Zara, Zara, Zara. And, oh, I don't know if I set the price on this. The price is... I got it for $25 and it was originally $70. Like, a steal. Are you shitting me? Um, the other thing that I got was this fuzzy top. When I tried it on, it's a little crop top. A little crop top-ish. Um, so it has to be, for me, paired with, um, high, high-waisted something. So super cute. It kind of reminds me of the 90s. Like, my mom had a bunch of these shirts that had so much fuzz off of them. Super soft, just, like, funky and edgy. So, just had to have it. And I got it in a size... I haven't been saying the sizes either. 
I got this in a medium and it was originally 20 I got it for $12.99. The next piece that I got from Zara was a bodysuit. Um, but like a cuter one. A lot of my bodysuits are more stretchy con. Just like underneath something so this is super cute as like a, the actual blouse or the outer piece so love love and it is I got it for $15 and the original price is covered up I don't know how much it was originally but it was $15 so. last piece from Zara dun da 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 I got this super long duster like to the floor I have to wear heels with this duster like but it's so stinking cute the best part is fringe it has fringe so it has fringe going up the side like just something so cute transitional when you don't have to do a full coat but you still need a layer this will be so cute going into spring most of my items I kind of thought about that too like I'm over the coats <laughs> and I'm over the chunky sweaters like I'm ready for some sun the next piece that I got from Zara are these black jeans and again <laughs> oh, we have more fringe like super stinking cute and they are the loose fitted vintage high waist so it is not stretchy at all and I got these in a size 6 in baby where's my ginger tea I need <laughs> Y'all know I don't like to try on anything. But in Zara, I usually wear a six. But these don't fit. So I'm going to look to exchange these and get the eight. And the last thing. I think I said the other thing was the last thing. But no, this is the last thing I got from Zara. Some just cute, simple throw-on pants. I think this would be so cute with like a crop top in the summertime. It's high-rise. It's stretchy, so soft. And then it's a wider leg like that's why so you can do that definitely with a sandal and a crop top not a huge difference it was originally 25 I got it for 20 like but I love the material I actually have a jumpsuit this same material and it's so comfortable I love it and it washes well so that is all for Zara um so the next thing I got or next thing is we'll do is Nordstrom I got this robe bed to brunch robe so obsessed with it it's a newer brand to Nordstrom and I got it on sale it doesn't even have the sale price on it but I think I got it for 58 and it was originally 99 um I am going to wear it as an outer piece pajama dressing I'm obsessed with it with the duster effect two people viewed your profile on LinkedIn <laughs> I need to change my profile so I could just be stylist and not retail but anyway um I love this I'm gonna do this with some black denim probably some rips super cute with like a black tank you know they're all black this will transform an all black look um, this is super cute for brunch. This is super cute for date night. This is super cute for work if you are in a creative field. Um, other thing I got was from Topshop. This is from Topshop. Um, I don't know. I couldn't find a lot of cute things at Topshop. But I did find this Teddy material hoodie that says a more on it. This was just like a, I love, I'm obsessed with Teddy material, so I have to have another one, even though I have one very similar to this. I don't suggest that to my clients. Like, if you have something similar, you don't need to replace it. Unless it's out of commission, but I literally have one. It has, it's not as cozy. It's more flat Teddy, but it's definitely the same idea. So I definitely would. I'm still gonna keep it but I'm gonna do this with some boyfriend jeans that have a bunch of rips in it and with like a cute sneaker and a baseball cap so if you saw my vlog when I was in LA I had a hair <laughs> I had a hair or bad hair trip I mean it wasn't bad I love the bundles baby but my natural hair 
um, which is not quite or co cooperating, cooperating, co cooperating. It wasn't quite co cooperating. Damn. Anyway, <laughs> I can't say it. Cooperating, cooperating. So I was freaking out. Really, like I had to like. <laughs> I was freaking out. I wore a mustard yellow. Well, I had to go to a concert. Um, I went to the Escape concert. It was so. The plan was to wear this mustard yellow wrap dress, like a satin wrap dress, and I did not know what to put on my head. Um, but I went to Nordstrom and they had in the accessories department had this scarf. It's been tied up since my trip. Sorry. Um, I could have steamed it, but it is Kate Spade, and I believe it was 50, 50-ish dollars, I don't remember, um, I had to wear it, so I didn't keep the tag on it, this is why I keep the tag on it, because I never remember, I think it was 50-something, but it was super cute, I actually wore it, how did I wear it? Did I wear it? I think I folded it down in small strip. That's the name. And that's not it, but, and it was something like that. But it was more black to the front, not stripes. But um, it, I think this scarf would be really cute for the spring. Definitely for vacation. Cause I would definitely do it like, I love an accessory baby. Oh, don't fall. Do it like that. Or you can even wear it like a choker. Like, so super cute. And it's K Spade. Um, neutral color. And the ultimate last thing, last thing I got, um, was this lease belt. And I don't know how much it was originally, but it got it for $15. I'm not even a big belt person. A lot of my jeans are stretchy and they're high waisted and usually something covering it. But I've been buying a bunch of oversized dresses that could be transformed if I had a nice size belt to go on top, like a decorative buckle. So this was the first one and it was pretty cheap, inexpensive. Um, so I went ahead and copped it. And it kind of was giving me Gucci vibes. <laughs> A little bit it's gold with pearls in it but that is all for my LA haul fashion tip Fridays so the tip today can just be like grab all the good deals um, I got some really good things so it's not too late I think these stores are still running these sales um, pretty much everything I got was on sale Except for the scarf. I think the scarf was full price. Zara always has her sale in January. H&M as well. I didn't get anything from H&M, which is ironic because I always get something from H&M. Um, and considering the controversy that's going on with it, it's just funny that I don't have anything to show from them. Um, so yeah, shop all your good deals at the end of the season. If you have not already, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Give me some ideas, like, what do you guys want to see? Follow me on my Instagram, that is styled by Rem. You can add me on Facebook as well, that's Remy Nige. And on Twitter, it's Remy Nige as well. And Pinterest is Remy Nige. So until next time, I'll see you again.